covering all the points mentioned here, you should summarize these four main points. Okay. Your job as the audience okay, is to find out how many of these things did I do. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, now you look at the assessor. Nah, you are all watching me, you're all assessing me covering the briefing. So besides the four points, what more did I do? So later I'm going to ask you for IC, okay? To me, this is IC. Okay. You can ask for IC, you can tell me any number, then you can tell me an actual IC. Okay. Okay. So this is the assessment briefing. I aim to do all these points covered <coughs> and to do it in about five minutes. Okay. After the next, I have to I'm Ming. I'm your assessor today. Uh, welcome. So how are you feeling? Great. Great. Okay. So before I start, can I request some identification that I can confirm your identity? Sure. That's fine. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Nick, thank you for this. Uh, let me figure out. Can I request you to read back your IC number to me? Sure. Uh, that would be S uh, eight nine one two three four five eight. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So. We are doing the assessment today to assess your competence as a sales assistant for the CEO of Self Products and Services. Mm. Okay, you attended the training for that. Yeah. So after this assessment, if you are successful, you will be awarded a statement of payment to declare you as competent. Right. And you can go on to perform the role of a sales assistant in our ABC shop. Mm. Okay. Now the context that this assessment will be done in the classroom. This classroom is uh, set up to represent the ABC shop. Okay. So there are two competency elements I will assess you for. Competency element one is established customer requirements, and the second element is recommend products and services. And for this CU, I'm assessing you using two methods. The first is role play. So you will play the role of a sales assistant of ABC shop. So maybe I can show you this a scenario for you as sales assistant of ABC shop. Okay, okay any questions about that uh, you want to ask me uh, you're not sure about? So this SOP is just an uh, extract? Uh, yeah, so, so these are the main parts we are looking at the SOP. Uh. So this part is extracted here to uh, help you focus that these are the main areas we are. So your trainer should have brought you through all this degree training to make sure you mm. are able to perform that. Right. So you're going to play the role of the sales assistant, mm. and the role of customer will be played by one of your fellow learners. Mm. I think for your run, it will be played by Moses. Uh. So I'll brief Moses separately on what he has to do as a customer. Sure. Okay. So you are required to demonstrate all the PC requirements. So this is a record that shows all the PC thing. Mm. So you are expected to demonstrate all this to be competent, mm. to be competent for the role play. So can you just like to look through the record, you're going to see that there's any part you're not sure or not clear about the requirement for the role play. Mm. Looks okay. straightforward enough. Straight now, thank you. Now, after the role play, we will do an oral questioning assessment. Mm. Okay? And there will be nine questions covering the underpinning knowledge. Mm. And uh, for the oral question, you may refer to your materials that answering the questions. Uh, at any time, if you find that I'm speaking too fast, you like me to repeat the question, or you cannot follow my tone or accent, mm. I'd be happy to repeat the question or clarify any doubts that you have. Again, for the oral question, you only declare competent if you get all nine questions correct. Mm. Okay. So at this point, I'd like to check, are you well enough to continue with the assessment? Is there anything you need to tell me that might affect your performance during this assessment? Uh, so far, it's not. Uh, just that I may be a bit uh, colorblind. Okay. Yeah, so I may not be able to see red or green. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, so far, that you'll be a sales assistant for your own uh, mm. product that you're selling. So, yes. if you're comfortable with it, there's no so far, so good concern. Uh, so, so at any so time you find that it may impact, please feel free to raise it up to me. Okay? Okay. At the end of the assessment, I will inform you of the outcome. Mm. Uh, should you disagree with the outcome, you may appeal in writing in seven working days, mm. and the fees for the appeal is $30. Okay. The whole assessment, all the details and all recordings you have are to be treated as competent.
potential. Mm -hmm. They're meant only for the asset. I'd like to reassure you of that. Okay. Okay. Now, in the event of an emergency, we will stop the assessment. Mm -hmm. So please follow my instructions to leave the building. Okay. Okay. So before I end, um, is there anything you need to ask about the assessment that you are not sure about? Mm -hmm. No. So okay. far, so good. Huh? I would just like to finish off by telling you that during the assessment, I'll be taking notes for the assessment record. Mm. This will help me to record the observations I can give back to you at the end of it. Okay. So my writing of notes can be of good things you have done, not necessarily bad points that you see me writing about. Okay. Okay, so uh, don't be distracted and don't feel worried if you see me writing. Mm. Okay. If you have no further questions, then we will start the assessment as soon as you are ready. Okay. Thank right. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. End of briefing. How long do you take?